awesome. This is Maple. She's our little three-legged one IVDD kid from California. And this is Annie. Her family is down in Kansas and Texas. And the crazy dog right here, this is Maddie. She's from Colorado. All three of these kids are here for therapy for when, until when their families are ready to take them home or when they're ready to go home. Annie is actually the one, she, as soon as she gets on her feet, she can go home. But last time we had a video on doing uh, the sit to stand and all of your kids, including the ones that are not down, they all need what we call, of course, the massage therapy. And uh, one thing we did show about massaging after they did the sit to stand is we did not show <laughs> that you need to massage up here as well. And trust me, when you start massaging the kids, they will relax and they will come back here. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and all three girls just had their uh, cold laser and so they're, they're somewhat simulated already. But it always helps, you wanna do around the ears, you wanna do around the face. This is, this is what I call the spa treat. And you can actually rub, um, virgin olive oil if you don't have any of the aesthetic stuff from e-oils and that kind of stuff. It's a little virgin olive oil if their skin is dry, but you want to rub their ears. The most sensitive part of the dog and the dachshund, but the dog's ears, they have more nerves in their ears than you can imagine. That I mean, they hear everything with it. It helps them fly. Yes, it does. And so you want to massage that. And massage their, massage their face muscles and around their eyes. But you want to make it a full body massage. Every part of the dachshund's body is involved in the healing. Their mind, um, the brain stem, the cerebellum, all of this stuff has to work in conjunction with the muscles. So you want to massage real, everything for that purpose because you're getting them stimulated. The brain gets to work because they can feel what it feels like up here, even when they can't feel what it feels like back here. They can feel it. So the idea is to get the brain to fire the neurons going in the same process that you're going in. And you get those shoulder muscles because all the weight of the of the action going forward or running around in their cars, all of that. Yeah, Miss Maple's into it. She loves her massages. All of that action is put on the muscles up here. These front legs are taking the whole boat. Maple's lucky because she little thing. And, uh, but it doesn't matter, little or big, it's still a lot of work to pull the whole body with just two legs. And uh, Miss Maple has three legs, so our goal is to get her up on her third leg so she can be a three-legged weenie instead of a, a three-legged IBDD weenie. And she jams in a cart. And she loves her massages, but you want to massage up and down and I like to alternate instead of just going backward on one side or backwards on both sides, is do both sides because it stimulates the nerves. And I saw, turn her sideways so we can see. Actually, let's switch kids, shall we? She's like, no, we're not switching kids. But anyway, you want to stimulate everything along the spine. And I saw when we went to um, Iowa State for the clinical trials where they shot in some uh, injected a serum that dissolves some of the debris around the uh, injured area is um, when they tested to see where the injury was they were pretty spot on and what they did is they went along the spine and they had these forceps that had like little rubber prongs on the end and they went up the spine and where it's where it started feeling like the skin would react that was where the injury was. I can't do it as well as the rubber forceps do. But you can tell, when you go down their spine, you can tell where their injury is because their skin will react. Well, she's not reacting because she's like, okay, come on, like we still got more to go. But as we showed the exercising of the, the legs in the other video, um, massage is just as important. She gets to have a really cool massage because she got nothing there but a little thing. And, uh, but you can also, in the process of massaging, we just got one, but we can do it anyway, is you want to massage their toes because sometimes the kids will drag their toes. They call what, they do what they call the knuckle under. So you want to massage those toes. And you just get them in your hand. You don't want to do it so hard that it makes them squeal. Um, but you do want to, I mean, think about a foot massage. It's the most divine thing in the world, but you hate your feet. But even so, you get somebody to massage your feet, it's love. It is true. Old Dachshund's no different. They love having their feet massaged. And then you get them to bend their legs. And sometimes you can just grab it with your whole hand and bend it from the inside. 
and it helps because they get a little stiff. They're like resistant, which is good. She's got more resistance. She wasn't resistant at first, but boy, since we've been doing exercises, she's really been working it. But you want to massage those muscles, and the more you massage them, the more likely they'll bend for you. And then you want to massage up their belly. Look at you, you got no hair on your chest. You got a naked chest. You need a bikini. Yeah. And they just love it. So you want to go up each side and massage. And because massage is so important, we do this every day, whether they fit or not. That's right, Mr. Steve's up there. Stevie alert! Stevie alert! But we also have another exercise that this is something you can do because the kids are all, even if they're on kennel rest, this is something that you can do when you're just sitting there. You can do this on the couch. You can do it on the floor. Um, it's just something when you're having your casual, relaxed time. You can do it while you guys are laying together in the bed. Yeah. I'm giving kisses, of course. <laughs> It just stimulates them and it gets them to relax. And you can do this before you do the exercises, and you can do this after they do the exercises. It, you just you can't massage and work them enough. I mean, there's not such a thing as too much massage. Trust me, if you've ever had a massage, a full body massage, there's nothing that's too much. All right, Miss Annie, you want to show off your stuff? Come here, Annie. We're going to do an ex a different exercise that we can do while sitting there. In addition to massaging, <laughs> and a lot of times you have to, because they don't like being on their back sometimes, but in addition to the massages, um, this is what we call the um, bicycle moves. And the bicycle moves, if you remember, we wanted to get the legs to move. Well, you can get them, what the idea is to get them to put pressure. And so we go ride and bike. Ride. And she's resisting. She's been doing this for a while, so she knows. But if you get, if you get your hands around the elbows. Well, wait a minute, we're doing this, this one first. Madison will do it if you won't. All right, all right. Anyway, Annie's being resistant. She doesn't want to do this. She goes, we did this yesterday. But the bicycle gets them to bend. I, no, don't be sniffing her wiki. Anyway, gets them to bend and gets the, the muscles to move. But you do it in such a way that it's not obtrusive. And then you can do what you call the push, push, push. This is what Noella does. Is you get them, and she's, Anna's really good at this. But the whole idea of the push, push, push. Oh, now you're just going to give up on me. Is to get them to resist. You see how she's kicking me. She's like, stop it. But the push, push, push. And then when they get used to the push, 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 because they know you want you want them to push back. And uh, get my hand sideways here. Turn your feet. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay, stop kicking me. Oh, oh. What are you doing, Miss Mabel? All right. Anyway, the idea of the push, push, push is when you start getting the sit to stand to work where they're standing on their own. That's a cue word. You can use a different word besides push. You're like up, up, up. And so up, get the feet up. And you can do it with one leg, you can do it with both legs, but it's, it's, you can do this while you're holding them. Uh, you can do the push, push. And you do, you want to keep their toes bent the way they would when they're walking. Yes, I know. You're just like, yeah, get me out of here. This is bad. Let me do this at this bad. But you can do this while you're holding them, too. The idea is to get those legs. It's the same as the sit to stand. It's all about giving them every opportunity and every exercise and every massage. Everything you put your hands on them to do is all about getting them to stand. Because like I said last time, if they can't stand, they can't walk. So the idea is to work those muscles. She's, she's resisting me. She is so, she is so ready. She is so ready, but she prefers her car. But Miss Anna is probably going to be the first one of the kids that have been really down for a while. Well, I take that back. Maple stands up on her leg. She's pretty awesome with one leg. Um, she will be going home to her family. We're hoping with more cold laser therapy, since we have only just started that in the last couple months, and uh, with water therapy, since it's getting warm, that she'll be able to go back to her, her daddy and her mom, her grandma. This, at the end of the summer, hopefully, Maddie, you want to join us? Maddie, come here, baby. Come here, Missy Maddie. Come on, Missy Mama. Come on. Come on, Missy Mama. Come on, Missy Mama. Come on, Missy Mama. I'm going to get you over here. I'm going to get you over here. Come here, Missy Maddie. Come here, Missy Maddie. Come here, Missy Maddie. Come here, Missy Maddie. Come here, Missy Maddie.
better come over here. No! And Miss Maddie's doing awesome. Hang on. You gotta get it open. Sit. There you go. They do the perfect sit. I don't know why. They're like, wait, wait. Keep it. I got a good grasp on it. All right. Bark first. Oh, that's pretty cute, Miss Maple. And Miss Annie. <coughs> Miss Maddie. All right, Miss Maddie. Let's show them what you can do, huh? Yeah. Now you can do this on the floor. You can do this on the couch. And um, massaging up and down their spine. All right, which one of you for? Or was it me? No, I'm kidding. Um. <laughs> But you can do you can do this the spine massages with you just basically put your fingers under their chest like so and you just work your fingers up and down the spine just up and down the spine they love this part this is so good for them because it gets all the muscles going and then when I get back here that's when I start doing doing the exercises with the legs and then and then we sit to stand we do the sit part. And Miss Carla go back the other way. She don't want to sit. She wants to run. And belly rubs. You gotta have belly rubs. Her and Miss Maple are buds. <laughs> Her and Miss Maple are buds. But keep in mind that everything, everything on their body is massageable. Like I said, everything you touch, it does not have to be related to IVDD, the location of their injury, but it is related to stimulating the cognition to get those neurons to fire back up and get the nerve to brain, the muscle to brain, don't forget. And so you want to stimulate those that even if they can't feel the ground beneath their feet, the brain and the muscles can work in, in harmony to get them to walk. And they love to play, so it, don't be surprised if you start doing this and they want to wrestle. Wrestling is awesome because they're working some muscles. And this one, she's got it down. I mean, she gets her legs, oh yeah, yeah, bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. Ah, you a crazy dog. Oh, Miss Annie, she's crazy dog. Oh, Miss Annie, Miss Maple. Don't hesitate, as I said before, to contact us if there's something special that you want to see. And we do a first take only, and so sometimes it's a little off the wall, because it's me, if you know me. And uh, we'll see you next week when we do, let's see what's on our list. Next week we're going to be doing, um, ah, we're going to do the cleaning products. Possibly, it's either cleaning products and um, different items that you can get online that are great. It'll save you a ton of money. Or we're going to be doing wound care, which is real important. If we're doing wound care, then uh, we're going to be doing another video that the same the next weekend, if Noelle is going to be here, on um, a specialty ER kit that you can put together for your kids if you're going to go camping. So stay tuned for next Thursday, and then we'll have other fun ideas. Be, be, feel free to send us any idea that you want to see, even if it's cute and funny. We'd be glad to do it. We just want to help everybody learn to care for their dogs, down or up. They all need to be loved. Thank you.